today we are super excited because we have a guest here with us, Ryan. Uh, he's coming. Uh, he's a, a, a great friend of Steel and also an STMU graduate. So we're all here, uh, STMU graduates. And a little bit of background on me. Uh, I'm a graduate of St. Mary's University in San Antonio. I graduated in 2020 with a Bachelor's of uh, Business Administration and Finance and Risk Management. And I've been, you know, employed in a variety of, uh, you know, in a variety of insurance and finance industries and, and positions for, uh, for about two years now. And in terms of cryptocurrency, I first got into it in 2017, you know, buying the OG uh, cryptocurrency Bitcoin. I remember I bought my first small amount of Bitcoin in like September of 2017 when it was about $3,300. It's gone up a lot in value. I mean, if you hold on to it for a couple of months, you know, you'll probably make a good amount of money on it. And back then, that was what my, you know, what my intent was for it. I saw it as, all right, it's, you know, some sort of, you know, digital asset or like digital currency that can go up a lot in dollar value, like in a short amount of time. And, you know, this is not bragging. This is not at all financial advice either. Like I made some small like pocket money and, you know, cashed out of it. And really in like the very start of 2018. And at that point, you know, for about a year or so, I, you know, didn't really, you know, focus on it too much because like I had said at that time, I saw it as, oh, it's just some sort of, you know, internet currency thing that went up a lot in value in terms of the dollar, but then it crashed a whole lot. So, I mean, for about a year, I really didn't pay attention to it until 2019, around mid-2019, when I actually started, you know, getting a lot more like into what the actual use cases were for cryptocurrency. And uh, I started hearing these stories about like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm investing in crypto because in a couple months, you know, it'll, it'll have more money, you know, it'll be worth more and then I can sell it and cash it out. But uh, like you said, it's only 5% of like what it really can do. So if you don't mind, what, what do you think is the other 95%? What are the capacities that maybe we haven't wrapped our heads around? 5% of the use of cryptocurrency would be holding on to it for a given time period and then selling it for money. But of all other 95% of stuff, I mean, it's like, it's just like so amazing what you can do with it. I mean, you can stake it, which is essentially you know, using your cryptocurrency to help process transactions, which is, you know, functionally a lot like having your cryptocurrency in like a high interest, like a savings account. You can also, uh, you know, exchange cryptocurrencies one for the other. You can, of course, you know, like uh, use them to like mint NFTs. You can actually send cryptocurrency to people. You can send like, not just like, do like a wire transfer and send dollars, you can actually send cryptocurrency, i.e. send digital property to other people. You can you can use it to like get a, a loan. I know Coinbase now has like Bitcoin uh, backed loans where you set up your Bitcoin as collateral and you can get a very like competitive loan on like loan on your Bitcoin. And wow. I mean like it's it, it's it's real it's really just insane insane in like the best way possible because it is like the the complete revolution of of finance in the in the digital area i mean or in the digital era of like people like you know i don't think any of us were really like old enough to comprehend like the rise of the internet i mean like I'm sure we all remember like oh you know like the first time you saw like a smartphone or something like the iphone came out in like 2007 for me when i was I think I was like 10 at the time, but we weren't really around for, you know, to witness like the, the period of time when everyone, when everyone went from like, you know, having like a tiny little like brick cell phone, if that to having like a supercomputer in your pocket. And that yeah. happened over the course of like maybe 10, 15, 20 years. And if you want to compare cryptocurrency that like Bitcoin is like 13 years old. And I mean, we've already seen so, so much growth in it over these past 13 years. I mean, just imagine what the next like 15 or, or 20 or even 10 years hold in terms of, in terms of the growth of, of cryptocurrency. Yeah. And I'm yeah. actually 
interested in that because I'm also interested in like hearing like how do you respond to like skeptics of cryptocurrency you know what I mean because there's always there's always one side to everything and some people argue it's almost like the the MasterCard right like credit cards like people were scared to put money or like trust in a credit card now it's like trusting in cryptocurrency that's like you can't really see it like you're like like we went from I know that I have that amount in cryptocurrency right exactly it reminds me of that like like the with like the someone looking at a book and they're like people are reading too much and there's like the phone was the next thing people are on the phone too much some people make the argument of like oh well cryptocurrency is going to crash like or it's it's not going to last or stuff like that like i'm um, thank you for asking that question i mean to anybody who's like a skeptic you know i tell you know when they you know tell me like oh i don't know about bitcoin you know i don't like i don't know what it is like i'm like i'm a little skeptical about it i mean the first thing i tell them like all right you know I understand where you're coming from because I used like I used to be a skeptic. I mean, I think everybody who was like involved with crypt who is now involved with cryptocurrency at some point in the past was like, oh, like Bitcoin, like what, what is this? Is this like some sort of like internet stock or like game coin? Like is it like gems in Clash of Clans or something like that? So I mean, like it's mm. it's natural when you see something new no matter what it is, to be a little bit skeptical at first, you're never going to win anybody over to your side by immediately like, oh, that's like stupid. I mean, why do you think it's fake? Like, well, are you you an idiot? Like, why why are you like doing that? Like, that is not at all the way to ever convince anybody who's like a skeptic to come over to another side. So, I mean, for people who are skeptics, you know, at first tell them, all right, you know, I, I understand your opinion. You know, you haven't been around this this industry for a while you might just be like barely hearing about it for like the first time but for people who are skeptics i just tell them for 10 minutes a day like let's say you're driving home from work or you're driving to like pick up food or something for 10 minutes a day just like go on youtube and like search what is bitcoin or what is cryptocurrency and it's very easy to like passively learn about it. I mean, you have a phone with you constantly. You pretty much have internet connection everywhere. I mean, I think it was during high school. I had a friend who was mining crypto that, I mean, it was like all these things that it was just so hard to understand. I was like, what do you mean? Like, is this, like you said, is this a video game? Like now it's like, oh, you can actually use this to transact online. Do you ever see like companies bought like, transacting i absolutely see people doing that i mean people are already doing that now i mean at this point you know it's it's almost like you know a a lot of companies are kind of doing it as like uh you know as like an experimental thing or like oh cool you know like i guess to like generate hype you know we're gonna like with tesla you know like oh you can buy like our tesla you can buy like a tesla and then you can buy like you know merchandise like tesla shirts with dogecoin or something and i mean people are are already doing it it's still in its infancy and you know a lot of people are you know kind of like oh this is like i mean yeah like it's cool i can buy stuff in like dogecoin but you know it's 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 kind of a kind of a meme like at this point but absolutely like 100 percent, absolutely i see in the future like any company that like you can buy stuff online will uh will allow you to purchase stuff in cryptocurrency and